I'm continuing to try to understand what went wrong with my pressure switch. Uh, what I did is I put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes or in the freezer and I found out that I couldn't depress the diaphragm anymore. So I'm suspecting that there's water or something that froze behind it. Uh, after I thought out, I was able to depress it again. And now instead of getting like the seven to eight mega ohms, when I press it, I'm getting a lot less. Okay, let's try this again. You can see now that I'm getting like in the neighborhood of, you know, three mega ohms. So what I like to do is just take it apart. This is, it's already a bad piece. I'm gonna put a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver around here and bend the metal rim out and open it and see if there is any water or moisture inside. And this would, you know, give me a guarantee that to understand what happened. I got tired of trying to gently pry the piece of metal. So since this is a throwaway piece, I just took a, a saw to it. And now I'm just gonna use the pliers to remove the uh, metal. All right, I removed the metal. Now for the big reveal, let's see what's inside. We expect that to be wet because that's where the water goes. This little membrane here. We wouldn't expect any water on this side. We do see some wetness already. All right, so we definitely are seeing water there. Remove this metal. Now it's got the uh, the ground pin right here, so we just gotta push it. There you go. Oh, it does look it does look quite a bit corroded there. So it looks like it's been getting water in here. All right, here's the inside of the pressure switch. Pretty basic, just a spring and three terminals. You can see when the metal plate that I took off before, this one here, it's on it. It typically will be putting pressure and closing the circuit that is the two external terminals. And the two external terminals are those two pieces of metal at the very bottom on each edge of it. Now when the water pressure comes in, it keeps pushing on the spring. And at one point it's gonna cause it to flip. See that flip right there? And it's gonna make contact with this middle terminal. It's still making contact with this external one. So it will switch power that's coming in here to this external, uh, to this middle terminal. Here it's just a pressure, you can see, boom. It just makes contact. There's a contact right there. Get a better angle. That's making contact there. And on this side, it'll continue making contact. This whole metal piece here, the bottom and the top, is for this external pin. So even though it flips up, it is still making contact with the external. So that's how that works. Pretty ingenious mechanical piece.